Hello YouTube, this is Lofi. Uh, happy Halloween. It's still Halloween for another 22 minutes. Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked. But I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. All right, so here we are uh, with The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. Uh, this probably is my favorite game. <laughs> I mean, just in the way it was executed, um, the presentation involved, I mean, everything about this game is just magical. Um, I would say that it really spoke to me uh, the way games uh, sort of haven't in the longest time. I mean, you, you look at big budget titles like Mass Effect and stuff, and they're like, ooh, wow, they're, they're really pretty and, and epic in scale, but... You know, it seems like gameplay is just sort of lost uh, these days. So here we have uh, a game in which I think the gameplay is the main focus. I mean, the story uh, that you saw, you know, it's it's um, a little bit threadbare, but it, it serves its purpose and it's rather entertaining, especially with the themes that run all the way through this game. Uh, you may notice that uh, I've done a couple of things to get me to um, a point in the game where I have most of the items collected and um, I've gotten most of the achievements uh, but what we are going to do is we are going to delete all my stuff um, I've gone through this game several times uh, and gotten all the items but I reset the game every now and then just for shits and giggles and I think if you are new to Binding of Isaac, this is going to be the best way to um, do it. Complete save? Yes. No. Oh. Yes. Well, that's weird. Uh, normally the collection window goes all the way back to question marks, but I guess not this time. Um, there's, yeah, okay, so we got our challenges back and everything, so we're golden. So when you first start this game, uh, you don't have uh, too many choices in terms of characters. As you can see, all my guys are, what the fuck? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't normally see me like that, so 
<laughs> it's been a long time since I've uh, had Eve locked for me. Uh, so as you can see, we're going with Isaac. He's our only selection. And uh, yeah, don't know what else to say. You can check out the rest of it in game because this is just, uh, yeah, let's go. So, uh, I'm using a controller with Joy to Key. If you're going to play this game, I would suggest using this setup because it's way easier than doing the keyboard. But uh, I am not a professional gamer, so who knows? This is just my preference. All right, so here we go. This is kind of how you play the game. It's kind of a twin stick shooter. You move with the, the left uh, controls and shoot with the right. Oh, that's good. All right. Um, a lot to explain in this room. This is this is a tough one. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to explain a lot before I start doing that. So let me see what item I get first. This is pretty sweet right here. Uh, this is kind of like a free bomb. It's called My Best Friend. Uh, at least I think yeah, Best Friend, something like that. Um, so I have a activatable item in my space bar box right now, if you notice in the upper right hand screen, uh, I get to use that, um, and after a certain amount of battle rooms, I get to use it again. Um, it is essentially a free bomb, and uh, I am going to use it in here just to sort of uh, screw up this middle part, because I want those other bombs. I don't want some uh, bomb that's going to be situational. Uh, I want bombs I can rely on, so I'm going to get those. Alright, so here goes my space bar. Normally, this would attract enemies to it, and then boom, it blows up. Um, but uh, I think it has more use as utility right now than a combat item, so I used it to get those other bombs. Here we go. Go to the combat room. Yeah. <laughs> now that I started playing this game, it's like I got. I realize I have a lot of explaining to do before I can uh, rationally show you guys what my um, choices are during this level. Uh, the game has so much into it, you know, it's it's just such a um, such a nuanced game. Like, what do I mean to say? There's just so many secrets and, and little things you have to learn about it before you can stay alive. Okay. So we just about got the first uh, floor cleared. Um, I can't really go anywhere else except inside the shop, but if I wanted to go in there, it's going to cost me a key. And if I wanted to do that, then um, I would probably want at least 15 cents going in there. Uh, because um, items usually cost about 15 cents. <laughs> Again, if you're new to this game, there's a lot of learning to do, so sit tight. Uh, I'm going to go fight the boss first because I can use my, uh, my friend here again to get another bomb or get into the secret room. And we have the Duke of Flies. Uh, Duke of Flies is kind of an annoying enemy to get on the first floor if you don't get any damage upgrades. Um, he just constantly spawns these flies, which, you know, kind of wander around until he blows them outward from his body. And if he does that while you're next to a wall or something, you could be in trouble. Uh, so I'm trying to keep away from him and sort of lob in the damage that I can. I could use bombs to damage him, but uh, like I said, bombs, especially when you don't have many, uh, are way more useful as a utility item. So um, I usually tend to hold on to them, at least until I've got, you know, uh, I'd say like seven. Like, if I have seven, I might start fucking around with them to do damage. But, uh, you know, if you got seven bombs and you don't have any damage at that point in the game, you might just be fucked. Um, I, I don't think I've ever really had too many situations where my limited bombs were a lifesaver. Uh, you get other situational items that um, give you just unlimited bombs, kind of. And when that happens, well, you know, <laughs> the game is just over and you've won. Uh, we can. Uh, I'll show you one of those in the challenge room, or I mean in the challenge option um, later. Okay, so our first upgrade that we get is going to be a uh, food item. The food items give you a extra heart container with a heart. 
so they're kind of nice, and I don't have too much reason not to pick them up. Um, I have my best friend again, and let's see here. We're going to use him to check for the secret room. Uh, the secret room is sort of always in a uh, place um, where it's surrounded by rooms in sort of the C shape that you see there between the sacrifice room, which is the little blood icon, and the other empty room adjacent to this one. So um, I'm going to go in. It's going to be money more than likely. Aw, oh, damn it. Or one of these things. <laughs> so this is a slot machine. Uh, you could play it with your money, and um, it has a chance of dropping something. If you get desperate, or you just get a ton of money, um, these are awful handy, but we don't have a ton of money, and uh, I want five cents when I leave this floor. I'll tell you why later. But for right now, I'm gonna bomb this machine and see what it has. Ooh! An extra key and a bomb paid back my bomb for me. That's really nice. All right. And I still don't want to go into the shop. The secret room normally contains money, but this time it didn't. Uh, so the shop is not an option. And um, again, <laughs> just from playing this game so long, I know where the super secret rooms are too. These are like extra special. I'll explain more about them later, but for right now, um, oh shit. Yeah. That's the other thing. Super secret rooms are way harder to find than the secret room. Uh, it should have been there. Honestly, I don't think there's anywhere else it could be. Uh, at least not under the way I understand it. Um, there's one more thing I'm going to do before I leave this floor. And it is use up some hearts on this sacrifice room over here. This isn't something I ever see the pros doing. Like, um... Oh, damn it, that heart is right over... Well, I can get that going in. All right. Well, I don't even want to get it going in, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, so here we go. Um, you stand on these, and it takes away your hearts one at a time, a, whole f a full heart at a time. Uh, and it will give you a chest after you've taken so much damage, or if you have invulnerability, it will just go ahead and pop the chest right away. But I don't have invulnerability, so I'm going to use at least... Um, I don't know, five hearts, I guess, is what I can use. And then, uh, we'll see if that gives me the chest. <laughs> Not yet. See, these things are real stingy, too. Maybe that's why I never see, like, people who really know what they're doing, uh, use these. Because they really don't, like, reliably pay out until you have, like, uh, some kind of invulnerability. I'll we'll, we'll explain one of those items. Ooh! Well, that's, that's awful nice. Uh, I got a golden chest. Golden chests normally require some other thing. Or normally include, like, keys, money, uh, hearts, bombs, or, like, a whole item, like what you just saw there. Or they can have, like, pills or cards, you know? just. They're, they're pretty sweet, just as long as you have enough keys to get into them. Um, so yeah, uh, these are soul hearts. Soul hearts are extremely important in this game. Uh, you gotta use them very strategically. Um, ideally, what you want to do is get through a whole floor without taking red heart damage, and I'll explain more about that uh, coming up. So, we'll just see what happens on the second floor. I doubt I'm going to take two full hearts worth of damage, but you never know. This game can be a cruel fucking mistress sometimes. Um, oh, I got the belt. Uh, the belt is going to make me faster. Uh, this is awful handy in most circumstances, especially when you pair it with flying. If you get flying and speed, well, you're pretty much golden. So we're going to look for the boss room first, and we failed already by going to this um, side room. Uh, we're just going to fight off these spiders. Alright. Grab the bomb. Alright. I haven't gotten very lucky so far when it comes to uh, the floors. Um, 
On the first floors, uh, you could either get the original variant of the basement, which is just called the basement. Uh, but in Wrath of the Lamb, they added this other uh, floor that you can get instead of basements. And it's called the cellar. And the cellar includes uh, the Wrath of the Lamb enemies, which are harder. So I'm kind of getting screwed by the, uh, by the order here. Let's see. Oh, I want to hit this thing. There we go. Those white things in the middle, uh, I think most of them are just called, like, nubs or something. Um, they spit out other stuff, and the white ones spit out more of those spiders, so you want to get to them before they uh, overwhelm you. More sacrifice rooms. I don't appreciate that. Give me something else. Oh, God. High probability of me taking damage in this room. I really hate spiders. Spiders are... Oh, God. <laughs> they are the worst. I hate them. Uh, they move in these really uh, awkward patterns, and uh, yeah, sometimes they just uh, they just end your game. Uh, I got a couple of times where I got Brimstone, uh, which is an item that sort of slows down your tears, but makes you, uh, oh, do I want to pick that up? Gosh. Alright, um, but yeah, Brimstone slows down your tears, but it gives you this beam shot instead. But a spider, one lone spider, just came in and raped me while my beam was charging. It was such a bummer. This item right here is called the Rosemary. The Rosemary gives you three soul hearts, um, and it increases your chance of picking up or getting the Bible, uh, which is an item that most people don't like. Uh, it's a utility item, like my best friend right now, and uh, it gives you flight for one room. Now, flight for one room is, it's all right. You know, there's some circumstances where it would really save you. Like, uh, these big pits sometimes are in a room you can't get over to the stuff that's in the middle of them, like pills and stuff. They normally crowd like three pills onto this little platform in the middle of a big pit. And uh, yeah, if you can fly out to that and the pills are good, well, your game is uh, pretty much old. But, um, yeah, flight for one room is really kind of not that desirable. At least not to me. I I'd rather have that slot as something else. Yeah, we got seven cents now. Um, one location for the secret room that I can see, but we're at the boss door now. It's kind of a bummer that we went through all the rest of the rooms. Oh, it's black <laughs> I think... I don't know if I want to waste my bombs. I don't know if I want to waste my bombs. I think I might just pound this one down. I'd really love some damage. Like a damage upgrade would be pretty sweet. I'm not doing much of anything to this. Ah, no! I moved right into that. I almost moved right into her again. For some reason, this boss always gets me. Uh, I mean, it, it's one of the easiest ones. And uh, it doesn't really have too many hit points, you know, after everything's said and done. <clears throat> Alright. I think I will get the Rosary. Um, yeah. It's not an item I usually pass up anyway. Oh, hello, Radioactive Spider. I think that's the one that gives me Quad Shot. I think. Ooh, and an extra um, food item. This is uh, dinner. And uh, I really love the, <laughs> you know, the, the reference to breakfast, lunch, and dinner with all these, like, s spoiled and rotten items. Oh, this frat guy's next door. Who knew? Alright. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. What a room. What a room. Okay, so the game's kind of over. I think I won this one. Um, these items represent flight and spectral tiers, and this is brimstone, like I was talking about earlier. Um, these deals, uh, this is a devil deal. You get a devil deal if you don't take red heart damage on a floor. Uh, you get a chance at it, actually. Um, it, it's all very mathematical. There's like number crunchers that uh, figure out how all this works. But, um, 
yeah, you have a percentage chance of getting into the Devil Room, and then you can use your health to make a gamble on items that you would other otherwise not see, because many items are exclusive to Devil Rooms, um, with exception, of course. So, I'm going to take both of these items, because they are fucking sweet. And... Yeah, here comes all the stuff. <laughs> like, when you do certain things in the game, items get unlocked. Uh, also, you, you have to pick them up before you can use them, but um, I'm getting the secrets here, so I'm going inside. No, really? Oh my god. Uh, that is very curious. I can't imagine the other spot for the secret room. Although, people who know this game better than me are probably going to shouting it at me. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go into uh, this, um, what is this room called? I think the other room is a self-sacrifice room. This is like a pain room or something. But you go in here and you find red chests, and they will contain any number of things. Um, these are pills. Pills are items that can be good or bad. Uh, I generally just take them uh, anyway, just to know what they are. Ooh, tears up. That is. That would be good if we didn't have brimstone. This is what brimstone does. I fill my cheeks, and then boom! I can just uh, unleash a torrent of blood at the enemy. Ah, uh, tears down. So we got a tears up and a tears down pill. Um, that would be a lot better if we were still using tears. I don't think. Uh, well, I don't. I don't really think that it affects uh, brimstone in a big way. Um, Either way, if you have tears up or down. I, I don't know, I could be wrong about that, but in my mind, when I get tears up for Brimstone, it's like, oh, well, that's kind of neutral. Because it doesn't make a big difference to me uh, in game in gameplay. So, um, yeah, that sucked that I couldn't find the secret room. But we still have more than five cents. Uh, if we have more than five cents, we get a chance at an arcade. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Um, <clears throat> it's always a very useful thing to have. Right. And you're going to see the power of Brimstone now. There's also something else about Brimstone. Uh, it's kind of bugged. <laughs> so when you hit the, the button, or when you release the button, excuse me, to uh, launch Brimstone, you just keep tapping that button. They call it Brim Snapping, but you get this weird animation. And uh, yeah, it, it, the beam looks like it's going down, but it's just hitting multiple times. So you can just destroy things with Brimstone. And now that I got flight, it's like game over, you know? I can just stand over pits, those spiders that I hated so much earlier. Well, fuck them. <laughs> I can give a shit. They can't even touch me. So, um, yeah. Fly over stones and stuff, get my keys to go into my item rooms, and look at this. Portable slot. I hate the portable slot. <laughs> The portable slot is essentially just like one of those slot machines that you saw earlier, except worse. Um, the slot machines are kind of a difficult mistress. Okay, let me explain this trinket real quick I found. This is Mom's Pearl. It's going to be taking out my trinket slot. Uh, the trinkets are just items that affect you in kind of passive ways. Mostly. Mostly passive ways. Um, but this trinket is going to give me soul hearts. Uh, more often than if I would not have this item. It sort of just increases my chance, um, along with um, the amount of items I can have dropped during the floor and like, my luck chance. That's that's what luck does. It increases your amount of items dropped per room. Uh, and some other things too. Like I said, this game is really fucking complicated. Uh, but it rewards you for playing. Alright, we got another, another sacrifice room. And Brimstone, they can light work everything. Uh, but yeah, like I was talking about with the um, slot machines earlier, I hate these fuckers. Right? These are the worst enemy in the game. I hate them. If they hit you, then you drop money. But um, slot machines like this one here, speak of the devil, they uh, have a chance of blowing up. And um, when they blow up, they either like spout a bunch of uh, items out 
or they will. Um, I'm gonna go look for the super. They will give you a dollar bill. A dollar bill gives you 99 cents, which makes you a powerful force in this game. Okay, here we go. Go, best friend. Success. All right. Okay. This isn't bad. Um, so this is Bob's Rotten Head. Bob's Rotten Head is a bomb that you can throw, and it uh, explodes with a poison cloud, doing extra DPS. So this is a bomb that's a little bit better than Best Friend, because I can throw it and it will do extra damage. And that's pretty sweet, especially now that we're going to see our boss. Um, we have not taken any red heart damage, so we may get another Devil Deal again. Uh, however, we don't really have a whole lot of hit points to do any damage. Yeah, this is Gertie Jr., one of the worst enemies in the game. And I'm gonna throw my poison head at him. And you know what? He's gonna be pretty much toast. Normally, he's kind of a dick to deal with, but uh, that time he wasn't too bad. Alright, we got the box. The box gives you one of every item, so it gives you like a trinket, a key, a card. Which is Judgment, not too bad, we got Judgment. And it gives me a pill, which is Tears Up, I have no reason not to take that. There are two extra soul hearts in here. I could be comfortable making a deal for one red heart. We'll have to see what's in here. Okay. I would like to take the red heart item, but the thing is, um, I can't do that. If I try to take that item, it would take away one of my red hearts, and if the item was like super good and you wanted to do it, you could use all of your soul hearts to um, fulfill the condition of the other red heart. So it's kind of complicated, um, but I don't want to give up all my hearts for that. The other item is a... Uh, Guppy's Paw. So this is Guppy's Paw and Guppy's Head. Um, these are very powerful items if you get uh, multiples of them. If you get three Guppy items, you become Guppy and Guppy is so terribly overpowered it's outrageous. You guys are probably just screaming at me, hey, pick it up and get it over with. Um, but uh, yeah, I've already got powerful enough items and I don't really want to risk too many of my other hearts. But the sneaky thing I am going to do is pop this judgment. Oh, f***. Damn it. Okay, it was a demon judgment. <laughs> That's something else that can happen. A judgment card. Oh, gosh. It spawns a beggar. Ah. Yeah, this is going to get complicated. <laughs> it spawns either a beggar or a demon beggar. And uh, you can... Um, either pay off a beggar and he will eventually drop an item or like other um, consumable items like keys and bombs. Damn it, it had to be that. It had to be. Alright, I'm gonna get my key back. And I want this heart too. So I'm gonna get it. That still leaves me above uh, five cents. Yeah, that leaves me above five cents. Uh, so I might have a chance of getting an arcade next round. Tears down. Great, thanks, game. <laughs> okay, I'm not taking that pill, obviously. <clears throat> oh my gosh, the pact. The pact just sitting here. That's amazing. Okay, so the pact gives me soul hearts and increases my damage. It's amazing. Um, I'm totally glad we came in here. <laughs> Going into that room is a gamble sometimes. Uh, and most, more often times than not, it doesn't pay out. But you know what? When it pays out, it is, uh, it is like sunshine. Okay. Um, for reasons I'll explain later, remaining at half of a red heart is better than a full red heart, so I am going to take the soul heart and go down. <laughs> 